Hi, I'm Derek B., editor of the Peru Tribune, back with you for another edition of Tomorrow's News, our daily video feature in which we tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, May 22nd, 2014, so I'll be telling you what you can find in the Friday, May 23rd print edition of the Peru Tribune or online now at perutribune.com. On our lead story, uh, Eric Stoff has a report for us on a really crazy incident uh, out of the Estates of Eagles Point on Wednesday night. Uh, Miami County Sheriff's Deputy, uh, I'm sorry, Miami County Sheriff Sergeant Ron Dosh had been called out there for a uh, uh, potential suicide call. Um, saw some uh, drug paraphernalia at a residence um, and uh, told um, the owner of, I'm sorry, the renter of the residence uh, who was getting home that he was going to do a search. Uh, that man, um, whose name is uh, Nathan Ferguson, headbutted Dosh and uh, then was tased. Uh, very interesting stuff. Um, as you might imagine, uh, Ferguson is now in custody, and Dosh said he was not seriously hurt. So, uh, something of a happy ending there. On our display story, uh, Chad Abshire has a preview for us of the Miami County Day of Caring. Uh, that's coming up on Friday uh, at 8.30 a.m. Uh, folks are going to meet in Miami's 4th and do several community projects. Uh, really a great event that we're uh, happy to support and uh, get a lot of volunteers out for. So, uh, if you have the chance uh, tomorrow to uh, go out and do that, to start off your, your Memorial Day weekend, uh, please do. Uh, the community will thank you for it. Um, also on A1, uh, a lot more cop stuff. Um, Chad also reported from Miami Circuit Court, where a uh, meth dealer was sentenced to six years imprisonment. A uh, really interesting part with this story is that uh, Jeffrey Johnson is the name of the suspect. Um, I'm sorry, the, uh, I guess I don't want to say he's a suspect if he's been convicted. Um, he would be potentially on probation, but uh, Prosecutor Bruce Embry said that there is no equivalent drug treatment program outside of the prison, so... That's something we're definitely going to be looking into, especially with meth. Uh, this is, as you probably know, a highly trafficked methamphetamine area, so we're hoping to get some answers about why there is not any kind of treatment uh, for civilians. Um, Eric also had a, had a couple of uh, more arrest stories, marijuana-related. First, uh, from the Sheriff's Department, uh, three Peru residents were arrested after allegedly giving marijuana to a 15-year-old. Um, and also from Indiana State Police, um, four South Bend residents were arrested on their way down to the Indianapolis 500 uh, on drug charges, and the driver was also arrested on identity deception after giving police a fake name. Um, inside the paper, we'll have a release from United Way about uh, their uh, campaign slogan and the agencies they're supporting, also their chairpersons. And we have a story from the Wabash Plain Dealer uh, from Joe Slation over there about, um, I'm sorry, from Eric Seaman over there, about uh, Harlan Career Center's graduation. Finally, on the sports page, we had two stories from Nick Roby. First is a report on the tennis sectional. Uh, Peru advanced to the uh, semifinals today uh, as uh, the Comic Quest season ended in the first round. Uh, Peru is hoping to meet Wabash again in the sectional finals on Friday. Uh, Wabash also advanced on Wednesday night to the semifinals today. Um, finally, he had a uh, roundup, including Peru golf and North Miami softball. Both of those teams, which are very good, continue to be very good. And I uh, will have an eye on them as they continue into sectionals. Um, as always, you can find all the stories in tomorrow's print edition of the Peru Tribune. You can find them online now at perutribune.com, and you can find links to them on our Facebook